Hi, this is Jonathan Kutsavatsky at Dalit Media Talks, right now at NAB 2017, and I'm with Chris. Tell us about yourself. Sure, thanks Jonathan. Uh, Chris Aranjo, I'm the field CTO uh, for the ECS product, which is part of the unstructured story division of Dell EMC. Tell us about ECS. A lot of people think about ECS as an object platform. We really think about it as a universal content store. So we can deliver ECS as pure software that they run on their hardware. We can give you an appliance experience and we can even deliver it through the cloud as well. Um, and you can mix and match these as well. So you can create a three site ECS topology where in one site you're running you know, ECS software off of Dell servers that you've had around. Um, in another site you install ECS as an appliance and the third site will run for you you know, in our VirtuStream data centers where VirtuStream is Dell EMC's um, uh, service provider arm. And so really ECS has the heart of an object store, but it's really built in the spirit of all of the modern demands uh, of the various application types of today. And it's a particularly great platform for media as part of that. So moving into media, how does ECS affect the media industry? We see workflows where our customers now have, are looking at the problem of how do they capture you know, the increasingly voluminous um, kinds of media content that's happening out there. But once they solve that content problem, then it's how do I make that data and keep that data accessible and extract value from that data over time. So it's going beyond what they can do for an initial capture and how do they actually retain that data long term in a very cost effective manner that allows them to actually draw leverage out of that. And we see this playing out everywhere. We're seeing it in the broadcast industry, the film industry, et cetera, all of our customers, they're really struggling with this kind of a problem. They're really starting to think differently. And when we see is when they think differently, their first thought is, I want to think cloud, right? And they see cloud as an enabling capability. And as we tease apart with them, as we work through what is it about cloud that they like, sometimes it's a, about a delivery model, right? Which is to say, you know, they want to move it off premise. They don't want to own the equipment or run the equipment. Sometimes it's about architecture. Sometimes it's about the idea of a, a, a effectively a large repository that you know, lives maybe in a different location than where I did my ingest that I can put you know, data into and, and video into and media assets into and leave them there in you know, long-term perpetuity um, and be able to even have other than business units be able to leverage that and to be able to draw from that. Tell us about the partnership between Dalit and uh, EMC. When we will talk to our customers about the storage capabilities they need, the key question comes, how do they orchestrate uh, their workflows across that? How do they take those assets that they've uh, ingested and done post-production on, and how do they land them somewhere so they can actually form an asset base? And really, Dalit is a great you know, asset management system to be able to allow them to orchestrate that. Why is it a compelling story for customers to combine a media asset management solution with ECS? So if you think about combining you know, Dalit with, e with, with ECS, really a couple of things that happen. First off, from an ECS perspective, having Dalit there really enables our customers to get the video into ECS. From a, if you look at it the other way, from a Dalit perspective, the key enabler, the key advantage of having ECS there is that you can land the EC, the Dalit can actually land any assets from anywhere onto ECS. ECS takes care of the stewardship of actually making sure that data has integrity and is preserved across multiple sites. And then when that data is needed, whether it was from the original location it was put or a different location, that can be drawn up too. And so you can imagine having a, a effectively a globally distributed surface of all of these assets and ECS underlying all of that in a very, very efficient implementation. ECS also recognizes is geographically distributed and you can write data anywhere and it's going to be accessible anywhere and it'll even move the data around actually under the covers as well to land it so that you can actually have built-in disaster recoveries. So by having ECS under the covers, from the Dalit perspective, it's, you know, they don't, Dalit doesn't have to think anything differently. The users of the, on the Dalit side don't have to think anything differently. It all just works the same way their current workflows work today. But under the covers, because it's all going into ECS, it's actually, we're taking advantage of ECS's geographically distributed, very efficient storage model to be able to advance those workflows and to store them long term.